Hello everyone and welcome to my third cabinet PC progress video. As you can see the build has been painted and I have some components in and the tubing has gotten underway. As you can see I'm going for a red and black theme and I can't wait to show you around. Here you can see I have installed the components. In there we have the MSI Gaming 7 motherboard, two 780Ti's and the i7 4790K CPU. Storage wise we have two hard drives both with two terabytes of storage and they are the Seagate hard drives. We also have three SSDs two of them being the black Corsair 120GB SSDs and one red Corsair 128GB SSD. These SSDs will be used for my operating system and will also hold some of my games and programs. On the motherboard you can see we have some Avixia RAM and we also have EK water blocks on both our CPU and the video cards. I would like to say a big thank you to EK for sponsoring this build as they have provided us with all the tubing and the fittings as well as the reservoirs for this build. MSI are another sponsor for this build and they have provided us with the motherboard. So a big thank you to them. As you can see we have a Wi-Fi card in there so we have the option of using Wi-Fi if need be. Here you can see that I have placed the hard drives in place so you can get a feel of where the cords will be running and they will be going through the slots as you can see there and they will route down under and around the back. I have drilled a hole through the top to route my tubing through. This will then come up and join them onto the radiators. On the top we have a reservoir just to get that extra aesthetic look and I believe this will just complete the build. I've drilled some holes and I'm yet to attach some acrylic tubing which will just make it look very nice and clean. There's the hole. Down the side we have our MSI Dragon which is a sheet of red acrylic and slightly smaller sheet of sheet metal. Behind that there will be some red LED pulsating lights which will make the dragon light up nicely. Here we have our shelving which I've taken out and where it is marked I'll have to drill some more holes for some acrylic tubing to route through. Along the edges here I have sealed that up so no light is getting through the other side and down below is an example of how the cables will be routed. I will secure them on the back and that will make for some nice cable management. And this is how I got the motherboard tray to stay in place. I simply drilled some holes, put a screw through the motherboard tray, through the back sheet metal and just screwed it on. So this is the build as it stands today. I'm still not finished but hopefully the next video will be the finished product.
please let me know in the comments below what you think of the build, anything you think I could add to it. I always love constructive criticism because it just helps me better my understanding of computer modding and I cannot wait for your feedback. If you enjoyed this video, please like, subscribe and share and make sure to leave a comment.